There's a very beautiful story narrated by Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh, that one night he was sleeping and he woke up in the middle of the night and he just couldn't get some rest so he walked out of his house and came into the streets of Medina Manawara. And while he was walking around, in front of him he was shocked to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was there. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was taking his private little stroll at night. So Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh says that at that time, I felt that I should go to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and walk with him. You know, that private time, I would ask him questions, he would talk to me, I can ask him anything I want to, that very close, intimate, private time. But then he thought to himself that if I go to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, maybe the Prophet doesn't want to be disturbed, maybe he wants to be alone. So Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh says, I quietly walked behind the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I was shadowing him. His words and the narration actually are, I was walking in the light of the moon. It's very quietly just shifting myself, following the Prophet ﷺ. At some point, the Prophet ﷺ figured out someone was following him, so he turned around and said, Who's there? Abu Dhar al-Fari he comes out and says, The Messenger of Allah, it's me. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Ta'al, come here. He comes next to the Prophet ﷺ, and the Prophet ﷺ said, Let's walk. And as they were walking, they came to this mountain. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said to Abu Dhar al-Fari that if Allah gave me wealth equivalent to this mountain, I would use every penny of it to spend on the poor people. I wouldn't keep a penny of it for myself. And when I read this narration, honestly, it shocks me because I think to myself, if someone gave me $10 million, I would change. Everything about me would change. And he says, I wouldn't change. I'd be the exact same person. Then Abu Dhar al-Ghifari says, we continued walking with the Prophet. And a time came where the Prophet wasallam said to me, Abu Dhar, sit here and don't move until I come back. So Abu Dhar al-Ghifari sat down and the Prophet ﷺ walked off into the night. And after a little bit, he began to hear some noise, some talking, some chatting. And he became worried. He felt like, I should go check up on the Prophet. So he was getting ready to leave, but then he remembered the Prophet said, don't move from here. So he sat back down, waited, until he saw the Prophet ﷺ return. When the Prophet ﷺ came back, he went to the Prophet ﷺ and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, where were you gone? And I heard some noise. What was that noise? The Prophet ﷺ said, that was Jibreel ﷺ. He came and said to me, whoever says La ilaha illallah, that person will go to Jannah. And Abu Dhar radiallahu anh is shocked. Like what? You know how like when you get a deal, you don't believe it? Like that's the deal? So he says, O oh, Messenger of Allah, wa in zana, wa in saraqa, even if that person did zina, and even if he stole, like even a sinner, if he says La ilaha illallah, he goes to Jannah. The Prophet said, wa in zana, wa in saraqa, even if he did zina, even if he stole. He was lost. He said, O Messenger of Allah, wa in zana, wa in saraq, even if he stole, even if he stole, and it's zina. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa second time he responded to Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh, wa in zana, wa in saraq. So then Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh, he was still in disbelief. He asked a third time. You know, like, you just can't believe it. This is the deal. He says, wa in zana, wa in saraq, even if he stole, and even if he committed zina, he fornicated. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, wa in zana, wa in saraqa, that even if he did zina, even if he stole, even if Abu Dhar doesn't want him to go to Jannah, even if Abu Dhar doesn't like it, even if we have to take the nose of, the nose of Abu Dhar and put it in soil, even then he's going to go to Jannah. And Abu Dhar al-Ghifari radiallahu anh, whenever he used to narrate this hadith, you know, you think about it, he could have easily taken that last part of the narration out, no one would have known, that's what the Prophet said to him. But whenever he used to narrate the hadith, he would say, Ala raghmi anfi, even if I don't like it, that person's still going to Jannah, la ilaha illallah. Beautiful narration.